This video tutorial shows three PLs how Magaya software can help you ship orders. An order can be shipped either from a cargo release, which is usually for local deliveries, or from a shipment, which is for long distance, domestic, and international deliveries. In this video, we'll show how to load the items into the final warehouse location, such as a shipping door. We'll also show two ways to ship orders. The first way to ship orders will be via a third-party trucking company, such as FedEx, UPS, or USPS, by using our plugin, ExpressLink. The second way will be via your own trucks, by using our plugin, Final Mile. Let's take a closer look. So what is a load task? A load task is simply used to move items from one location to another. More specifically, this is used to move items from the quality control area to a final destination such as a shipping door. You can create load tasks in the cargo release screen by clicking the task button and selecting either create task or partial load task or by going to the cargo release list and clicking on the task button and selecting create task. In this example, we'll do it this way to see some benefits using this feature. The following screens are the cargo releases batch task wizard. First, click next, then select an employee. Remember that you can leave this blank so that all WMS mobile handheld users can see this task and whoever selects it is automatically assigned that task. Next, click the task type button and click the load option. Click Next, and in this screen, we can select all the cargo releases we want to load. Select your cargo release, or use the Select All button. You can also clear your options, view any cargo release, or filter specific cargo releases. Now let's click the Next button, and you can preview your task. Let's go back, and click the Finish button. In the Pending Tasks list, we'll see the Pending Task. Double click to open it, set due dates and reminders, enter a subject and final destination. Since this is a load, we'll select the shipping door, enter notes and then click OK. If you use a third party trucking company that's not FedEx, UPS or USPS, you can just create a cargo release or a shipment, send them either of the two, and then update the status of either one. For example, if you use shipments, you can print or email the shipment and documentation, and then use the actions button, and then set the shipment to in transit, received, and then delivered. In the case of a cargo release, you can also print it and email it to the third party trucking company, and then from the actions menu, set it in transit, and then delivered. This will ensure that your trucking company receives the documentation and your customer receives their tracking updates. If your trucking company is either FedEx, UPS, or USPS, you can use our plugin called ExpressLink. From the cargo release, this is found by clicking the actions menu and selecting Express Link. From the shipment, we'll need to go to the house or direct shipment, click on the actions button and select Express Link. Notice that from a shipment, you can also upload documents to FedEx and UPS. You can also send one or more shipments with Express Link using the cargo release list. Using the control or shift keys on your keyboard, select one or more cargo releases, right click or click the Actions button and select Express Link. In this example, we'll show you how to ship an order via the cargo release. Before we ship using Express Link, let's click the Edit button on the cargo release to show you the inland carrier information. In the Carrier field, select either FedEx, UPS, or USPS. If you don't have these defined in your system, you can go to Maintenance, Carriers, and add them there. 
Note that you can also drop down this button here and add them. So let's select FedEx and click close. Now let's click the actions button and select express link. In this example, we'll ship with FedEx. There are many fields here, but we'll go over some of the basics. If you have specific questions on additional fields, please visit our knowledge base. First, select your shipping account, your units, and currency. Make sure all sender information is accurate, as well as recipient, origin, and billing account. All this information comes directly from your cargo release. When ready, click Save and Next, and now we have the Shipment Rate screen. In here, specify delivery options, references, and packages. For each package line item, you can double click and update any additional options such as dry ice, alcohol, and dangerous goods. When ready, click OK, and here you can review totals. Down below is the delivery confirmation, the FedEx COD options, and your shipping day. You can also specify a pickup time. This screen also gives you the option to get the rates from the carrier. If you click the arrow next to the Get Rates button, you can choose how you want to get your rates. In this example, let's click Account, and here we have all the services. If we click here, we can choose from one of three carrier options. Let's select this service, review the details, and then click Save and Next. The final screen is a shipment confirmation screen. Review all of the information, and then when ready, click Send. When successful, you have the option to even print labels. When you send a shipment using ExpressLink, the tracking number is automatically saved. If you have your own trucks, you can ship orders in Magaya and deliver them with a smartphone. This option uses our plugin called Final Mile. Final Mile is our task-driven plugin where you can either go to a cargo release or a shipment and click on the task button to create a task for one of your driver's smartphones so they can deliver the inventory. In this example, we'll show you final mile using a cargo release. First, click the arrow next to the task button and click create task. In the task dialog box, click the assign to field and select your employee. If you leave it blank, all employees will see it and the first one to accept it will be assigned that task. Select your due date and time and reminder. Click the task type field and select delivery POD. Enter a subject and notes. When finished, click the OK button. In addition to being sent to your driver's smartphone, the task will also be in the pending task screen. Double click it to edit. When the inventory is delivered, you can click the Cargo Release Edit button, go to the POD tab, and see the proof of delivery. Notice that the Cargo Release also shows as delivered. Check out the knowledge base for step-by-step -step articles you can print or email to help you use the software fully. Be sure to see our other videos in the 3PL series. Thank you.